What's going on everyone? I'm doing a quick unboxing and review of my new chain, which is not Jacoji this time for once. Uh, I guess I've shot other places a few times, but I actually went with Sanks Gold this time. Um, mainly because I wanted to try a different place, see what they were like with uh, customer service, the quality of the product, um, and more importantly, they actually had what I wanted. Um, Jacoji was sold out of the three and a half millimeter diamond or plain Franco, uh, which is what I got. And forgive me, I'm really tired. I worked a long day, um, so I'm doing this now. Um, so prior to the gate, ordered it on. Last, I ordered it last Friday, and they shipped it on Tuesday. Or I'm sorry, they shipped it on Wednesday. So not as quick as I'm used to as far as the shipping, but um, when I emailed about it because I asked for express shipping, they responded right away, um, and they shipped it overnight. So that was cool. Um, and they're starting to build up their Instagram. Um, one thing I noticed on the box, I got the white box, and I, I don't know if I've seen this, um, but I've seen the black boxes. And I've seen a lot of people get the ring sizer on the outside, and I didn't get one with which is fine um, but this is I mean very much like Jacoji um, simple it has stuff on the back it says it's St. Gold original it's jewelry the terms are it's a precious metal the series is 2023 to 2024 and their logo established 2019 so it's not bad and I do like the, it's the white box and the gold right here. That's pretty nice. Sounds exactly like the Jukoji boxes and feels like it, so it's got to be theirs. And then you have a leather pouch, which I'm sure the chain is in here. Um, okay. So this says it's an appraisal. And my address is on here, so I'm not going to show that. But I usually, on all of the reviews I've seen, there's a packing slip or a uh, certificate of authenticity, and I did not get that, which is, again, that's fine. Oh, and this came in a nice box, like a bigger box, and it had the Saints Gold wrapping on it. I just didn't want to record all that. So it has the vendor, the day that I ordered it, the order number, what it is. Oh, and the weight is on here, 51.1 grams. It was advertised on minus 52, so I'll take that. That's fine. Okay, so I've got my appraisal. And as usual, since this is a company I don't buy from, usually I got my scale and my caliper. So this is a nice little leather pouch. Um, I'm torn on if I like it to be leather or velvet, but this is nice. And I can see the chain inside, so they don't have to do the plastic baggie. And here's the chain knotted up. There we go. Oh, I went with the plain Franco because I've had a three millimeter diamond cut, a two millimeter plain. My wife has a one and a half millimeter diamond cut and a one millimeter plain. And so far with the planes, I've liked it a lot better. I can feel the weight on this thing for sure. Um, and I think it just, as far as a look, the plane is superior to me. It has the normal end caps for a Franco, the normal tab, saying 14 karat Italy, nothing on the other side. The jump ring is soldered. The end caps and links are nice and soldered. Strong pull on the clasp. I mean, you can run your fingers down and it just, it's smooth. And a good amount of weight. I mean, 51.1, I think it said. Yeah, but this is what you would expect. And then you have the other side that's kind of like a uh, Cuban link, which I think the best side is when it, you get a mix of both, which is the good thing about a, a uh, round chain. So go ahead and weigh it real quick. Actually, no, let me put it on neck. 
so I can turn the camera around to weigh it and do the calipers. Now, I wouldn't ever wear my chain outside the hoodie, but I mean, you can see this has a good amount of presence for being a three and a half, which I've heard the three and a half Franco is actually more like a 3.75, um, 3.85, 3.7 on the low end. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy with this. Well, I'll just go ahead and do the scale now. and I don't want to mess with turning the camera around and make this a super long process. It's supposed to be 51.1 and it's 51.13. So that's right on. And the calipers it's supposed to be three and a half millimeters anything over is gravy I don't know if that was right because it came out at four <laughs> four point zero seven Again, I'll take it. I'm gonna do a couple more spots. Yeah, 3.75, zero it out, do another spot. 3.8. So I might have not closed it all the way for the four point something, but Four point one, so I'm getting a few different readings, which is, I mean, they're so close. And plus, this I don't know how great this caliper is. All right, so four point one again. And now that I'm not having to re-zero it, it might be more consistent. Three point eight five. Okay, so it's anywhere from three point eight to four. Um, which, I mean, as you're wearing the chain, you're not going to ever be like, oh yeah, that spot is way bigger. And it probably depends on which side you're measuring. I'm actually curious. I'm going to do it one more time. Yeah, 4.06. So we'll call it 3.8, 3.85 to 4. So that's, you know, what other people say. Um, and the Jokoji one was 50.3 grams, I think. You know, just for a comparison, my ring is five millimeters. I think actually it's just under. And you can see, I mean, from a distance, the Franco appears bigger. And I know that the ring is wider. And actually, I'll use the copper on that real quick. Yeah, it's just under five. So, because it's a flat ring, just like a flat link, and this being round and boxy, this is going to always stand out and appear bigger. And, you know, 24 inches, and I am clasping it because I don't want to take my hoodie on or hat on and off. But this looks really nice. I mean, this is how I'd wear it under a hoodie. I don't have a t-shirt on under this right now, but it's really nice. I'm definitely into this. But I'm not going to keep this going. The timer's at almost 10 minutes. Um, I'll do some quick shots of it you know, in my hand in natural light tomorrow. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.